All right, I'm on Shark Tank tonight, but in order to get ready to go on set, I wanted to spend some time with the real sharks of New York. I'm here with the director of the New York Aquarium. People don't realize there are 26 sharks that are native to New York, and I'm gonna learn all the common misperceptions that people have Good. about sharks. Here we go, gotta figure out which shark I am. We're gonna start right here in a coral reef in the Indo-Pacific just to try to remember that sharks are important wherever they're found. This is amazing, yeah. look at this. It's so ethereal, right? right. Like you can't even... It's a very cool effect. It looks like it's suspended in front of you, doesn't it? Really extraordinary. It's just amazing. Actually, so could, could you give me the big picture about, so why are sharks important to, an e to the ecosystem? This is the exact same which you are. Right. Because they're top predators. So they are the ones that at the top are keeping everything healthy, everything stable, everything in balance. So even in New York, with 26 species, sharks are important to the ecosystem here? Absolutely. So I also would like to figure out if Kevin were a shark in this exhibit, which shark would he be? You know, I'm kind of thinking he might be this like zebra shark down here. I think so too. Like he, you would think because he's called a shark that yeah, he's got a big bite, but the reality but really, is the re exactly. that just, oh, Mr. Wonderful. he's kind of phoning it in, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm seeing you as a sand tiger. See this guy right there with the snaggly teeth? That's a sand tiger shark. Whoa. Right he's a big, how long is he? Six a feet? Big, yeah, no, 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 longer than that. These guys are up close to 11, 12 feet. Wow. And where, where would I find them in New York? Right offshore. Anywhere from two miles in all the way to shore. All right, so, so uh, wait, you know, wait, what are on your hands? I went and got gear so that when I was in the water with them, right. in case they bit, right. I would only lose just the from the elbow down. That's, that's very impressive. It's, it's, I'm, that's I'm gonna, really wait, impressed. And, and the boots, too. Do you think it's a little extra? You, you come out, yeah. One rule of Shark Tank, don't fall in, right? Okay. <laughs> Those are targets, right? They put that in and they recognize their target and they know that they're not going to get fed if they go anywhere else. And what are they being fed? Uh, they get fed capelin, herring, squid, and some clam. How often do they eat? Uh, three times a week. They're not traveling for miles and miles and Wait, miles. Wait, so a pound and a half, three times a week. Right. They're no. eating less than a human. Yes, by much far, less. Much yes. less. I had no idea. Despite the whole voracious predator sort of Did thing. Did you hear right? that? Wow, a shark eats less than a human. Today, for the menu, we have herring. Oh, lovely. Yes. These are just a multivitamin that are specifically made for sharks and reefs. So I'm going to pretend I'm feeding Mark Cuban <laughs> a supplement. <laughs> what do I do? So you're just going to pull the head aside, and there's an operculum there. You're just going to shove the vitamin down in the gills into the body. Hello, Mark. OK, I'm okay. about to feed you now to the sharks. Ready? It won't hurt. OK, can I put it in? Yep. They can definitely make out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Kevin. I'm going to take it from you. Yep, pull oh, it out. Oh, yeah. Awesome. High five. That was so fun. Thank you. I did it. I did it. Okay. And now we come in here, we find out what the real critical problem is, right? Which is we're losing 100 million sharks every year. Really? I read somewhere that people will cut off the fin and just exactly. throw the shark back they, and they, they drown. Yeah, I mean, and since the fin's the only valuable part, they just toss the bodies overboard. So what's something that an average person could do? So here, it's very simple. You've got to support the sort of well-regulated fisheries that we have here in North America. You've got to be willing to sign on in support of international treaties to ban this kind of behavior. And you've got to support conservation organizations who are working around the globe to do it, including the Wildlife Conservation Society. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Great work here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.